Good afternoon, everyone. This is Anirvi Rapagupta, student of BSc Honors Forensic Science from Amity University. It's my honor and privilege to present my e-poster in front of Honorable Chairperson, respected jury, delegates, faculty, and my fellow mates. I welcome you all, and without making any further delay, uh, I will begin with my presenting my e-poster on cyber relationship, whether it is a boon or bane. Starting with this pandemic situation. the world is facing uh, since the last year the internet addiction becomes a major issue as the life of everyone is carried out by the internet whether uh, it is the student in online classes or adult in their work from homes uh, i am i going to start with the, what is internet addiction <coughs> sorry and cyber relationship addiction mm-hmm. the internet has made life a lot easier by making information accessible to all and by creating connection to different people around the world but it has also led to people to spend too much time in front of their computer which leads to internet addiction in the latest study conducted by the adult psychiatry in poland uh, shows that every fourth child in the world is addicted to the internet well internet uh, well one type of internet addiction is cyber relation uh, relationship addiction which i am going to talk about today Cyber or online relationship addicts are deeply involved with finding or maintaining relationships online, and often forgetting and neglecting real life family and friends. Typically, online relationships are formed in chat rooms or any uh, social networking site, but can occur anywhere uh, you interact with people online. Often, people who pursue online relationships uh, can conceal their identity and appearance. and this modern phenomena uh, led to the creation of a term known as catfish uh, and after being consumed by an social life and persona uh, a person can maybe left with limited social skills and uh, can develop unrealistic expectations concerning the person's interaction and many time uh, it can also lead to an inability to make the real world connections and uh, depending more on the cyber relationship uh, now i will begin with The, re- the reasons for cyber relationship now the reason behind cyber relationships has to do something with the issues like self disclosure uh, s- low self esteem a uh, fear of physical relations uh, body image and social interaction the uh, nowadays with the expansion of media uh, the some of uh, new light has brought to the individual that find face to face interaction to be difficult when dealing with the personal issues that affect in building a relationship and which uh, the uh, and and the, these persons are held by the online dating and social media but uh, uh, online dating has been a number of method to these individuals that seek interest without having to go out with someone and find a woman or man of your dreams on the internet uh, second comes with truth about cyber relationship the fact that most online relationships uh, take behind a computer it can also leads to betrayal the usual lies that tend to be amongst the cyber affair occurs that the truth is not being meant by the personal information like the sex age status and so forth information the main problem is that one can never be too cautious on what information they are receiving or allowing from the other person on the screen and that can be in a different part of the world or from or can be your neighbor too uh the certain points under truth about the cyber relationships are that the people can lie on their online dating profiles the relationship generally don't last in most of the cases looking uh, if uh, generally the people who are looking for relationship can must mean that they all want is like physical intimacy and the one who is indulged in cyber relationships can become more picky and judgmental now uh i have also studied about some uh, anonymous comments that people say about the cyber relationships that are that one has to be more careful on whom they choose to date as there are a lot of murder murderers rapists and also pedophiles on certain sites second that one can do whatever they want and it's fine on the online dating platform uh, one always has to be on their toes as you cannot see them or hear them on that side and the last one is that people think when they go on internet that the god is not watching them that's why they have seen a lot of perverts and freaks on the internet next comes the danger of cyber relationships that are faced like uh, for 
first is about that the feelings that one claims are real are nothing but the feeling of their imaginations and the there is a certain kind of fantasy that develops which feeds on the pleasant te- text that uh, the one receives from the screen and since there is no image one can see the mind idealizes the other person uh, and creates the prototype of their desires and there are always risks of getting sexual assaulted and blackmailed for money and the dangers of cyber relationship increases when the real life isn't satisfactory enough since the people seek online but they haven't uh, achieved in their real life or reality <clears throat> and uh, i will now like to discuss a case study a recent case study that i have read uh, uh, a woman was allegedly gang raped by 25 men on may 3rd 2021 in hodal haryana till the woman approached the police 9 days after the incident took place uh, the woman uh, who was raped was work, works as a domestic suffer staff staff in delhi uh, started living in delhi around 4 years ago in 2017 the woman met a man named sagar on facebook this january 2021 and they two exchanged their phone numbers after some time sagar proposed him for marriage and asked her to meet his parents the uh, the man invited the uh, girl, uh, woman uh, in haryana hodal where she could meet his parents directly face to face but on may 3 the uh, instead of taking her to his parents the uh, man invited him to ramgarh village her to ramgarh village and where the sagar some of sagar brothers and a group of his friends were consuming liquor near a tube in the forest where they raped that woman the next day the woman was taken to a scrap dealer and uh, where she was raped by five more men when the woman's conditions was deteriorating after repeatedly sexual assault the uh, five men dumped her in the badarpur border and escaped from there uh, and on may 12 the woman uh, com- filed a complaint in hasanpur police station Uh, and told the police that there was a delay in filing a complaint as she was not in a condition and was unwell and after it i want to say that as one never knows the true intention of the other person who is behind that screen now if someone is looking for a cyber relationship we cannot control them or uh, order them to not do uh, so but we can uh, for uh, take some following measures that uh, should be followed if you are looking for a cyber relationship like before feeling for someone you should remember that they have you haven't seen the other person in real life and all you have been doing is creating or idealizing an image from your imagination or the picture you have received from them uh, second could be like don't engage so, uh, don't engage uh, don't engage solely in that uh, cyber relationship that it is okay to start no oh, someone in Uh, in writing but this writing phase shouldn't go for too long uh, third comes like don't build a relationship uh, sorry don't build a relationship with someone who is already married or committed to someone because in this situation or in these cases uh, one is simply try to convince the other person in question so they can be unfaithful to their partners and uh, also don't build a relationship with someone who lives in a different country as if you fall in love with that person whom you can't meet in real as they live in different countries it could be a imaginary platonic love and uh, last that keep this in mind that one never knows who they are might be speaking with anyone could be caring or attractive or could seem you practically perfect through the screen but behind their screen there could be hide there could be someone who is Uh, actually facing some psychological disorder who doesn't allow him or her to be in a relationship in real life or he or she could be a could uh, could be living a false life for themselves as they uh, thank you so much uh, i would like to end my presentation now